Hi guys, um, today's a different, slightly different change of scenery, just because I thought it'd be easier to do it this way. Um, but today it's a hair tutorial and as you can see my hair is frizzy, that's fine, because um, I've had my hair in this, uh, my hair's been in this hairstyle yesterday, so yeah, it's a bit frizzy today, but it doesn't matter turn my light on so I can see what I'm doing that looks really really weird and you can't see me properly let's turn that off and I'll just do it without the light <laughs> right you want a front section whatever size you want I tend to go quite small there's a reason I'm using comb for this Hold's actually better if your hair's slightly frizzy because it's got more grip. Right, then you separate it off into three sections. It's slightly bigger than what I was normally doing, but I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can see me better now. Um, so you want three sections. I'm going to use the mirror. I've got a mirror just here, so yeah. And you want to start doing a French plait. If you don't know how to do French plait, you just plait it once like that. They're all crossing each other, but they go over the, the outsides go over the top, and the insides go underneath. And you just add in hair the outside sections only. Both sides. You can take as big a sections or as little sections as you like. My size sections tend to vary and I find using a comb sometimes helps to section it off. Which is extremely frizzy because I had my hair up like this yesterday, so the bottom of it should be a bit less frizzy than the top. you're about halfway down, oh, I guess I'm bleeding hot. Right, I'm going to straighten that off. You just want to plait it straight down, leaving this bottom section out, and don't put it into the plait. I have no idea what to do. Come back. I don't think I really want to. I pull this over one shoulder so it's out the way while I do this back a bit and then I just plait it so it's like this I bring it to one side once it's plaited a certain amount down so I can see what I'm doing very hot and it's just rained so I thought it might cool down a bit if it hadn't. Ugh. Takes a long time. <laughs> I've just done this entire video slightly like wonky. Once you've got to this end bit, you grab a little hair tie, 
I've got a little elastic one. It's just like that. <laughs> clear one's probably better, but I don't have any clear, so I use white ones. Which are fine, and they tie off the ends quite nicely. I'm sorry about my nails, I meant to do this um, before I started the video. But I forgot. This is my go-to hair so I'm because it pulls your hair back up your face but leaves it down at the back. Right. Now I generally hairspray this. So that it holds. I use a light, light hold hairspray for this. Is that loose bit going to bother me? No. Slightly further back from what I normally do it. Do well. Technically, always be bits behind my ears. Right. Now you can either leave the back how it is because I had it yesterday. There's still some frazzy bits, and I'm not sure what's happened with this because yeah, I straightened it yesterday, and they've just come back out again. And it's just frizzed at the ends for some weird reason. So I'm going to get the hair straight that. Okay, cool. My hair straighteners are done. So I'm just going to half my hair down the centre. Like so. Down the back. Um, and then I'm going to section this off again into smaller sections using the comb. I always start from the back with my straightening, and I would recommend putting um, heat protector in your hair, but I don't have any at the moment. You need to see me with that in my hand. Right. So then you just go straighten it down. Flip it round to the back and it clears out of your way when you're doing the rest of it. Okay, once you've done one side, I just brush it through. Make sure your hair's cooled down a bit before you do this because I have melted my comb and my hairbrush before. Okay, so it's really straight. I've just got to do the other half. As you can see, it makes a big difference. So I'm going to flip that back round the back while I do this half. Okay. I'm just going to check how this looks. This looks a bit weird. There's a very big reason for this. Okay, my hair is done. Just going to put a little bit more hairspray over it, just to make sure. Have 
this is the finished look of my hair. I'm trying to get a nice artsy shot of this and sort of failing. I think I just failed, but yeah, you get the idea. My hair all nice and neatly done. Now, if you want to see more hair styles like this, let me know. If you know the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more hair styles like this, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next week. Bye! note on this while you're watching this i'm away so i won't be checking comments or replying to any until i get back at the weekend so leave me so if you leave me comments and you're one because i normally reply to them instantly but if you leave a comment and wondering why i'm not replying that is why i won't be active all week but yeah bye